Hello, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to session five of this symposium, Awakening to Humanity's Sacred Mission. It's great to see those words coming up on the word cloud, even some emojis sneaking their way in there. When did emojis become words? I guess that's a thing now. But it's exciting to be gathering here as part of this amazing uh, four-day event. This is day three, and uh, we have two incredible sessions coming up. So just want to welcome everybody. We're going to go straight to Dr. Julie Krull. Dr. Julie Krull has been doing an amazing job of keeping the golden thread connected through session one, session two, session three, session four, and right here to today by bringing a synthesis of what has gone before us. Dr. Julie Krull, good of the whole connection field, who are the facilitators of today's session, of tomorrow's session, sorry. Julie, uh, welcome. Welcome to session five. Thank you, Ben. And thank you, everyone. It's been so, I, I love those words. A few of them confused me, but like those words from the Mentimeter have really been grounded in so many of us in breakouts and, and interactions and planning. So it's exciting to really watch this all come together. And again, we need to begin with a breath. So thank you, Ben, for gathering us and everyone here today with us. Let's just begin with a few conscious breaths. Just bringing your awareness into your heart space, slowing down your breath. Anchoring yourself into your body, into this moment. And expanding that heart space into coherence so that we all Share that one big breath that's carried us from the beginning of time. Just allowing that one big breath to breathe us today. And as you continue to breathe, I want to read the poem that's inspired so many of us throughout the symposium. So just continue to breathe. If you want to close your eyes and listen, you can. It's The Golden Thread by David Lorimer. We are tasked to undertake a journey, to follow our golden thread into the labyrinth of life. Wandering along, we look out for something when first we need to look inside for stillness. Content and silence within, we can proceed with our surer path, a surer step along the path, present in and to the moment. Sometimes we truly stumble. We lose the thread, forgetting who we are and where we're going. Just wait and trust. Don't think. Don't stress. Don't rush around. Listen to the quiet voice, the voice of your heart, the heart that knows, the heart that deeply feels. Only then can the golden thread appear, and in no time, you'll find yourself at home, at the center, at the center of the labyrinth of life and love. We thank David Lorimer for that beautiful gift that has really infused our entire symposium, and we're happy to continue to pull these golden threads through. I want to share with you what's happened in each session. In session one, during our exploration of humanity's sacred mission, we heard so much about unity, love, and consciousness. The visionary voices shared a unitive worldview. Speaking of a coherent evolutionary process, or wholeness in motion. That coherent evolutionary process is us and created us. Like a dance of the universe dancing us, like the breath 
of the big breath breathing us. This unified nature of reality was carried forward into every session so far. In session two, we pulled the golden threads of unity, love, and consciousness into implementation. One theme that wove through all the visionary voices was an encouragement to bring nature and the sacred into all of our solutions, all of our vocations, all of our daily choices. We must be in right relationship with the planet to serve humanity. In session three, we focused on synergizing for change. The common theme of our visionary voices was recognition of the evolutionary impulse that is driving us, pulling us, pushing us, whatever we want to say, that impulse to gather, to come together in groups and communities. There's a global movement towards synergizing organizations, communities, and even networks of networks for greater coherence. We recognize that there's a superpower on the planet, and it is us. And in session four, we focused on peacemaking. We heard from diverse visionary voices about the nowness of peacemaking. The last 500 years have been a spiritual preparation for humanity to emerge in full spectrum adulthood and actualize the divine in every area of life. We have an individual responsibility that begins with peace in our hearts, and it extends into practical actions of our daily lives. Peace on earth is the most compelling idea on the planet. It creates a unifying vision, and now it has a due date. Some say peace on earth now. Peace on earth by 2030. It's doable. We're all in. Here's a few tips from our visionary voices. Stay focused on what is breaking through. Don't get distracted with what is breaking down. Stay focused on the beauty and the goodness that's breaking through. Earth is a co-evolutionary partner for peace. I want to repeat that one because... If you really hear what it said, it came through in a couple of our visionary voices. It's really important. Earth herself is a co-evolutionary partner for peace. She's guiding us, and she will march with us. And each one of us have what we need. All life is sacred. Repair your relationships with life each other, and yourself. Peace begins with you right here, right now, right in this moment. It's not out there. We're not waiting. And so to close, I just want to bring our words of Irvin Laszlo again through from the first session because it's really woven that golden thread for us. He said, something new is emerging and it starts with this, within each one of us. I think the next two sessions, we're going to start listening for that brand new that is emerging. So thanks, Ben. Beautiful, Julie. Thank you. I love your synthesis. They're so, um, you know, just invigorating to go back and to reflect on all the wonderful sharings of both the visionary voices and uh, the amazing engagement that's been happening with the community. And a big shout out to the community who keeps showing up for this symposium without all of those people around the world. 86 different countries were represented on the registration of this international symposium. So thank you, Julie Krull, again, for all of your many gifts uh, to the field for this uh, beautiful collaboration of the symposium. Thank and you. it is Lunar New Year. Uh, we're entering the Year of the Dragon. Uh, how exciting. This is just so auspicious in the most beautiful way. And today's theme, which was developed by the facilitation group, and you'll meet our amazing facilitation group a little later, uh, is the theme for today is embody and engage. So let's just remember that as we go through uh, our visionary voices today. 